And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, making you my thoughts and review for the new Paul Feig movie, Blake Lively, Anna Kendrick's A Simple Favor. Now, A Simple Favor, obviously, like I just said, stars Blake Lively and, of course, Anna Kendrick's. And, by the way, I gotta say, Anna Kendrick's, I think she's adorable. That woman is beyond adorable. Like, I want to either hang out with her as a friend or hook up with her. But that's another situation. Anyway, and Blake Lively, I love her ever since Gossip Girl, so there you go. So, A Simple Favor basically has Anna Kendrick who plays this mommy vlogger. And she meets this high, exquisite woman, uh, played by Blake Lively, who's, you know... And, you know, obviously their kids become friends. And they decide to start hanging out because their kids are playing, having play dates and all that stuff. That they can, like, maybe, like first grade so they start doing their thing hanging out and something happens to Blake Lively's character she ends up going missing and then this whole roller coaster of a movie just kicks off into high gear I mean this movie had feels of Gone Girl to me and a little a little bit of a light a lighter version of Gone Girl I mean this movie had humor thriller it felt like a whole bunch of different things. It was great. And I also was watching because I'm a huge fan of Gossip Girl. So I was watching. I was like, you know, this wouldn't make a great Serena series. But I'm telling you, Blake Lively looked like she was playing Serena Vander Woodson from Gossip Girl. And if you guys are fans of Gossip Girl out there, there's actually a song from that show in this movie. I'm not going to tell which one it is. But if you're a huge diehard fan of that, you're going to get a kick out of it. I guarantee it. If you remember it, because I was like, what? It was great. So that was a cool little scene. Anyway, so then you have Anna Kendricks trying to figure out, the, trying to solve the mystery with, um, trying to figure out where happened to Blake Lively's character. And then, of course, you have Blake Lively's husband in the movie, the actor from uh, Crazy Rich Asians. He was in the movie also. He was great. He was great in this movie. I liked him a lot. And he was that guy who was like, you know, he was a former writer, and then he, he has a new job, and he just kind of pleases his wife. And, you know, he's trying to figure out what's going on with her and why she, you know, why she's disappeared. He doesn't know what's going on. And then he ends up teaming up with uh, Anna Kendricks to try to figure out this mystery. And throughout the whole movie, I was trying to guess. So by, by halfway through this movie, I kind of figured out. What was going on? And then when I finally figured it out, and it was kind of right, I was like, wow, because this movie has a lot of twists and turns. And this movie is also kind of funny, too. The movie made me laugh a couple times, but um, yeah, I actually got a kick out of this movie. I think it was a very good movie. I think Paul Feig did a really good job of this with this story. And apparently, it's either... I don't know, because it felt like at the end of the movie... It kind of, I think, as I read the poster, it kind of felt like, it looked like it said, based on a true story, or it was based on a novel. I'm not sure which one was that. So, if that was a true story, oh my god, that was a crazy story. But if it's based on a book, I'm very interested in what's the difference between it, you know? So, um, I actually highly recommend you go check this movie out, because this movie will have you guessing throughout the whole movie. And I'm pretty sure you, most of you guys won't guess what this movie is a, truly about or what happened for real until like maybe the middle of the movie because this movie is going to have you guess if you guess it from the beginning that's impressive but um and don't cheat by the way by looking at spoilers but um yeah like i said by halfway through the movie i kind of i finally figured it out of what was going on and i was like oh my god really that's gonna happen okay that makes total sense and 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 then it takes you to a whole nother direction. It's like, well, where are you going with this movie? And it was, and, and, and then by the end of the movie, I ended up liking it a lot. Like I said, I really, I thought Blake Lively did a great job capturing this sophisticated, beautiful young woman who's very delicate and very rich and powerful. But yet she has a lot of, like, guess, like skeletons in her closet. And then you have Anna Kendricks who plays the, um, the, the perfect mother and you know I'm going to talk about one negative I have about this movie just one is super small but that it goes back to Anna Kendrick she was so good in this movie I felt like she was a little too good in this movie you know what I mean 
Because throughout the whole movie, she was so perfect. Like, she was, like, supremely perfect. It was like, okay, okay. It was, like, really on the nose. Like, okay, I get it now. Really, she does that. Okay, that makes sense. But it doesn't annoy you. It's just like, really? You, you She's going to be that kind of person? Okay, but she ended up doing a good job. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a very fun thriller, comedy kind of, and a little bit of action suspense kind of thing it was it was beyond crazy i didn't know what the, where this movie was gonna how this movie was gonna end and then when it ended i was like i was satisfied i was really satisfied with the ending it was beyond crazy but yeah i had a lot of fun with it so leave a comment below let me know what you guys thought about it if you've seen the movie and if you know if this is a book or based on a true story leave me a comment below let me know and stay tuned for more and thank you very much and have a good day